Have you ever wondered why the first form of writing, cuneiform, only appeared around 3000 BCE, while modern Homo sapiens are over 70,000 years old? A curious question, isn't it? The dawn of writing and communication holds fascinating insights into our collective journey as a species, and intriguingly, parallels with significant biblical events. The first form of writing, cuneiform, emerged in the ancient civilization of Sumer around 5,000 years ago, a blink of an eye in the grand timeline of our species. With this, humanity took a giant leap forward, creating a means to record, share, and immortalize knowledge. Fast forward a millennium, and we arrive at the Middle Ages, a time of remarkable inventions that revolutionized our world, navigation, gunpowder, and the printing press. These innovations not only transformed societies, but also how we communicate and share information. What's fascinating is the timing of these developments. It was during these eras that biblical figures like Abraham and Moses walked the earth, guiding their people and shaping history. The acceleration of writing and the spread of information seemed to coincide with their lives and the events they were part of. Abraham, recognized as the father of many nations, lived around the same time when writing was beginning to flourish. His life and teachings were recorded, shared, and passed down through generations, allowing us today to learn about him and his journey. Then we have Moses, a figure synonymous with the Ten Commandments. His life unfolded during a time when communication was diversifying and expanding, much like the influence of his teachings. The stories, laws, and lessons he imparted were captured in written form, ensuring their survival through the ages. The correlation between these pivotal moments in human communication and significant biblical events is intriguing. Could it be mere coincidence? Or was there a divine hand guiding us towards a future where knowledge could be shared and preserved more efficiently? It's fascinating to see how the acceleration of writing and spreading of information occurred around the same time as these significant biblical events. As we delve deeper into the genesis of the Bible in the next segment, We'll explore this intriguing connection further. Stay tuned. So, now that we understand when and how writing and communication began to spread, it's time to delve into the genesis of the Bible. The Bible, known as the Word of God, was written by 40 authors. These were not just any authors, they were apostles and prophets, chosen and inspired directly by God. They were the trusted scribes of their time, tasked with an immense responsibility to communicate God's message to humanity. Each author, from the humble shepherd to the wise king, brought a unique perspective to the text, yet all were divinely inspired. This resulted in a rich tapestry of stories, laws, poetry, and prophecies that make up the Bible as we know it today. Imagine for a moment the extraordinary task of these authors. They were not merely writing down their thoughts or recording historical events, they were translating the divine words of God into a language that could be understood by humanity. And they did this beautifully, with a timeless eloquence that has captivated readers for millennia. Now consider the endurance of the Bible. It has survived wars, fires, and centuries of scrutiny. It has been translated into thousands of languages and disseminated across the globe. Despite the numerous attempts to discredit, destroy, or distort it, the Bible has remained intact and continues to be a beacon of hope, wisdom, and guidance for billions of people. The Bible is more than just a book. It is a living testament, a sacred scroll, that has been passed down from generation to generation. It continues to be read, studied, and cherished in countless homes across the globe. Its teachings have shaped cultures, influenced laws, and guided countless individuals through the trials and tribulations of life. As we journey through the annals of history, let us remember that the Bible is not merely a product of its time. It is a timeless treasure, a wellspring of wisdom, a guide for life, it is the Word of God given to humanity for guidance, inspiration, and hope. The Bible, a testament of time, passed down from one generation to the next, has remained a constant source of guidance and inspiration for many. From Adam and Eve to Moses, the Word of God was passed down orally through generations. Let's journey back to the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve first heard the voice of God. It was a time of innocence and unity with the divine. They lived in communion with God, hearing His voice directly. However, after the fall from grace, they could only hear his voice, but could no longer find him. As they grappled with their newfound knowledge, they also grappled with confusion and the loss of their direct connection to the divine. This is where the oral tradition began. The word of God, the divine wisdom, and the moral teachings were passed down from Adam and Eve to their descendants. 
This tradition of oral storytelling was the primary means of preserving the divine word for generations. It was a sacred duty, a holy obligation, to remember and recite the words of God. Fast forward to the time of Moses, a pivotal figure in the history of the Bible. Moses was chosen by God to lead his people out of Egypt. But more than that, Moses was entrusted with the Ten Commandments, written by the finger of God himself on tablets of stone. This was the first instance of God's word being written down, a significant milestone in the transition from oral tradition to written scripture. These commandments inscribed by the divine served not only as moral guidelines, but also as the embodiment of God's word. They were a physical manifestation of the divine teachings that had been orally passed down for generations. And it was Moses who began the process of documenting these oral stories, including the story of Job, transforming the spoken word into the written word. As we delve deeper, Remember to approach this with belief and not doubt, for understanding comes from faith. The journey from the oral tradition to the written commandments is a testament to the enduring power of God's word. It's a story of continuity, of a divine message that transcends time and form, from the whisper of God in the Garden of Eden to the written scripture that guides us today. Did you know that the Bible was written by 40 authors and has over 30,000 verses? Quite a staggering fact, isn't it? This mammoth task wasn't accomplished overnight, nor was it the work of a single lifetime. It's a testament to a symphony of voices that spanned 1,500 years, echoing through the ages to reach us today. Let's embark on a journey back in time, to the early days of the Old Testament. It was a time when prophets and apostles were chosen as vessels, inspired by the divine to pen down the words of God. These holy men wrote in three distinct languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. Their words weren't confined to one place, but spread across three continents, Asia, Africa, and Europe. This was no ordinary book in the making, but a divine orchestration of knowledge and wisdom. From the poetic wisdom of Solomon's Proverbs, to the compelling narratives of Moses, from the prophetic visions of Isaiah, to the heart-wrenching lamentations of Jeremiah, the Old Testament is a rich tapestry of human experiences and divine revelations. It's a chorus of 40 voices, each unique yet harmoniously intertwined to narrate the grand saga of God's interactions with humanity. Then came the New Testament, a continuation of this divine symphony, but with a significant shift in tone. It introduced a new melody centered on the life, teachings, and works of Jesus Christ. It was the dawn of a new era chronicled by the apostles who were first-hand witnesses of Christ's miraculous deeds. In the New Testament, we see the Apostle Paul's letters to the early churches, John's apocalyptic revelations, and the poignant narratives of the four Gospels. Each book, each verse, each word was meticulously crafted, carrying forward the divine narrative in a way that was relevant to the changing times. The Bible, therefore, is not just a book. It's a symphony composed by 40 authors over a span of 1,500 years. It's a testament to the enduring power of divine inspiration, a beacon of hope and guidance that has survived the test of time. Indeed, the Bible is not just a book, but a symphony composed by 40 authors over a span of 1,500 years. The journey of the Bible from ancient scrolls to the modern versions we have today is a testament to its enduring relevance. The Old Testament, a book rich with history and prophecy, has been meticulously preserved throughout the ages. Our oldest artifacts, such as the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Masoretic Text, serve as tangible proof of this. These artifacts allow us to compare our current transcripts with those written during ancient times, ensuring the accuracy and authenticity of the sacred text. The Masoretic text in particular plays a pivotal role in this process. Used by Hebrew scholars, this text is renowned for its rigorous proofreading rules, ensuring that the translation of the Old Testament remains as accurate as possible. Imagine the painstaking care and reverence these scholars must have had. Each word transcribed with the utmost respect for its divine origin. But the Bible we read today isn't based on just one type of text. In fact, our modern translations are the result of careful study and comparison of three different types of text, the Alexandrian text, the Byzantine text, and the Western text. Each of these texts, with their unique characteristics and histories, contribute to our understanding and interpretation of the Bible. The Alexandrian text originating from Egypt is known for its concise and poetic style. The Byzantine text, on the other hand, is comprehensive and detailed, providing a broader context. And the Western text, with its own variations and interpretations, adds another layer of depth to the biblical narrative. 
the process of translating these texts into the versions we have today is a testament to the dedication and devotion of countless scholars and believers. Their collective efforts have allowed the Bible to transcend cultural and linguistic barriers, making it accessible to people all around the world. The Bible, a book that has traversed through time, continues to guide us today. Just as it guided those who lived thousands of years ago, it is a testament to the enduring power of faith and the Word of God.